Namaste everyone. In today's video, we are going to bust a very common misconception or myth about breastfeeding. As a prenatal yoga trainer, I am coming across an alarming number of new mothers who are concerned about their breast milk supply or who they think that they are not producing enough milk to feed their babies. Unlike bottle feeding, breastfeeding is completely blind. Your breasts are not see-through. You cannot see through them to know how much milk you are producing, nor can you understand how much your baby has fed. But remember one thing, our bodies are uniquely engineered and the hormonal interplay which goes on inside our bodies once we conceive, make sure that your body produces enough milk and the baby is well fed immediately after the delivery. Apart from a few medical or anatomical conditions, all the women across the globe are genetically programmed to produce enough breast milk to well fed their baby. It is a simple rule of demand and supply. You will produce enough breast milk to feed your baby as much as the baby needs. Now let's see how this works. As soon as a woman conceives, at around 5 to 6 weeks, sometimes even before you know that you are pregnant, the body already starts producing very four important hormones. These hormones ensure that your breasts are starting to produce the milk. There are two important hormones called estrogen and progesterone. These hormones start preparing the breast tissue for breastfeeding journey. Two very important things start happening. Number one, the fatty tissue in the breasts gets replaced by the glandular tissue. This glandular tissue ensures that the breasts start preparing breast milk from this period. Second thing that happens is that the mammary ducts or the milk ducts start getting ready. These milk ducts are like the pipelines from your mammary gland to the nipples and they help in transferring the milk to the nipples at the time of breastfeeding. In the second trimester, the third important hormone comes into play. This hormone is called prolactin. Prolactin ensures that the mammary glands, which are now ready to produce milk, start producing the milk. So in the second trimester itself, your body is completely prepared for breastfeeding. This is exactly why even the prematurely born babies can be breastfed immediately after they are born. Now consider this scenario. The overhead water tank at your house is full of water. Will you get the water supply unless and until you turn the tap on? No. Exactly same thing happens in the breastfeeding as well. Your mammary glands are producing the milk. The milk ducts are full of milk. But unless and until milk transfer happens between your nipple and your baby, the breastfeeding is not complete. Now when your body is preparing for the breastfeeding, the baby inside your womb is also preparing for the same. Babies are born with natural reflexes. There are three reflexes which help the babies in breastfeeding. Number one is called homing reflex. Number two is called the rooting reflex. And number three is called the suckling reflex. Now when a baby is born and if this baby is kept on a mother's abdomen immediately after the birth, the baby will start crawling towards the mother's breast. This is called the homing reflex. As soon as the baby reaches the mother's breast, it will latch onto the nipple. This is called the rooting reflex. And the third, as soon as the baby latches, it will start suckling the mother's breast without any help. This is the suckling reflex. So when you are preparing your body for breastfeeding, your baby's reflexes are helping him in breastfeeding without any external help or this phenomenon is known as breast crawl. The breast crawl and the skin to skin contact in the first hour of delivery, that is the golden hour, is very very important in establishing a positive breastfeeding experience both for the new mother as well as the baby. Now, as soon as the baby latches onto the breast and starts suckling onto the nipples, the fourth important hormone, oxytocin, causes the milk to release from the milk duct. This reflex is called the letdown reflex. 
and this is similar to you opening the tap inside your bath bathroom to allow the water to flow. So the skin to skin contact and the baby latching onto the breasts are two important factors in ensuring that the milk not only is produced inside your breast, it is also released into the nipples and reaches into the baby's mouth through the milk transfer. Like I earlier said, it is a simple play of demand and supply. The more your baby latches onto your breast, the more it suckles, hormone oxytocin makes sure that the milk is transferred regularly and the baby is fed. Progesterone, estrogen and prolactin are always maintained in your body. So the milk is getting produced. But unless and until your baby latches properly, unless and until it suckles, the milk will not get transferred. So your body will always produce the milk as much as your baby demands. The problem here comes at the time of milk transfer. So make sure your baby is latching on your nipples properly and it is suckling as much as it wants. Only then the milk transfer will happen and the milk will come out as much as it is required. What we also need to remember is breastfeeding is a learned skill. As our bodies are naturally made for breastfeeding, but the actual act is something for which you need a lot of patience and a lot of practice. It is always advised that you start preparing your breasts and your nipples for the breastfeeding journey from the second trimester itself. In the second trimester, there are a lot of breast preparation exercises that you can practice to prepare your breast and your nipple for the breastfeeding journey. You can click on this link for a video on our YouTube channel as well. In the third trimester, you can use props like this to actually practice the breastfeeding. Make sure you're taking guidance from a lactation consultant whenever it is necessary. Ensure that you are not anxious and remember, the more confident you are, the breastfeeding journey will be very beautiful and happy for you and your baby both. Thank you so much.